Hello everybody, welcome to another part in the Remaking Door series. Today what we're going to be adding into our games is hit detection for our figure AI. So if you don't remember, um, we made a figure AI inside of our library here that uh, follows a path, if this works, go ahead and hit run, um, follows a path that walks around um, and, you know, detects if there's any players or anything. But right now, there's no uh, hitbox for it to see if a player has touched it. So that's what we're going to be adding today. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and um, make a part. This will be our hitbox. And it could be like this. And you guys can make this however uh, big you want. I'm going to make it like that big maybe. Again, however big you want it to be. However, however big you want that hitbox to be. Next thing you're going to do, make sure it's unanchored. You guys can make it whatever color you want. We're just going to set that transparency to 1. Set the can collide and the can query to false. But make sure, make sure can touch is set to true. We'll name this hitbox. We'll throw it inside of our figure model here. And then we will go ahead and take the humanoid root part control alt click on the hitbox and we will go up into our model tab over here create and we're going to go ahead and hit create weld so we're creating a weld between that uh humanoid root part and that hitbox so now if we hit run <coughs> oh wait that is definitely not what we wanted to do um Okay, something got fucked up. Hold up. Uh... Oh, I know why. Because, so, what we need to do is we need to put it inside of the... Wait, but it was inside of that. Humanoid root part. This. Um, new weld. Oh, okay, I see why because there's a weld between the hitbox and the part here because this part's the floor So if you have a well if that if it like creates a weld where it's between the hitbox and the floor Make sure you delete that but now if we go in here and we go to our figure that hitbox is following the figure around everywhere it goes but now we need to now now we need to detect if um The player hits that hitbox. So what we're gonna do <coughs> We're going to go ahead and insert a script inside of hitbox. We can name it touched. doesn't really matter. Um, we'll define the hitbox. So we'll say local hitbox equals script.parent. Say local figure model equals hitbox.parent. Um, and then we could just do uh, hitbox.touch colon connect function uh, h. So this is the part that hits the uh, hitbox. So we will say if h.parent called fiber child humanoid, then, so we're just making sure to, to check if it's an actual character. We'll say local player equals uh, game colon get servers players. Uh, wait, actually, really quick, we're gonna just say uh, local character equals h.parent. Then we'll say game colon gets versus players colon get player from character character. Then we will go ahead and see if character colon find first child. No, no, no. If not character colon find first child um, touched figure, then we will make a new string. So we'll say local new string equals instance dot new string value. Oops, string value, and then we will parent that to the character. We'll then say new string dot name equals touched figure. Um, then we will say, um, for now we could just kill the player if they touch him, because we're not gonna set up yet with like a jump scare, but we will eventually set it up. But I just wanted to set up a uh, hit detection today. So all we could do here is we can actually, you know what? 
we'll actually define let's define the humanoid up here so we'll say local humanoid equals character call my first child humanoid and down here we'll say if humanoid then humanoid dot health equals zero so let's throw this back inside of our replicate storage All right, so now we'll go to current client. We'll just move our character. Hold on. We'll move our character to the library so we can test this out. Right uh, here. Also, let me guys, let me know, guys, if you guys want to see. Wait, let me just touch. There we go. As you can see now, when we touch it, we die. Uh, that's not the finished product yet, but um, that's what we'll do for today's episode. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, let let me know if in the comments if you guys want to see a video on like an updated doors kit, because the last time I made a doors kit video was probably like a week and a half, two weeks ago. I think two weeks ago, honestly. And it was just the version one of the doors kit that I have. But if you guys want to see an updated version of that, I will uh, update it with everything that we've done to this point that wasn't in that original video. So like that video onward, every single episode that I've done is not in that doors kit. So let me know if you guys want me to make another video updating that doors kit. Um, and I'll just name it like version two or something. And it'll have everything that we've done so far. Um, another thing I saw, I saw another thing where it was like... Uh, a bug where um there there was two people allowed in the closet i'm gonna go ahead and show you how to fix that now so inside a generation script um we have the closet where we generate the closet right here um closet folder blah 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 um what we're going to do is inside of possible um, or no, in replicate storage, we have closet, right? We're going to insert a value in here, bool value, and we're going to name this occupied. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this value uh, false or true, depending on if it's occupied or not. So it's not occupied. So we're just going to set the default value to, tr to false. Um, but then here, when we interact with it, we're gonna go ahead and see. We're gonna go ahead and um, change it. So, uh, if player then, if um, new closet dot occupy dot value equal equals false, then we'll paste this. We'll uh, cut that all out by selecting it all and Control X. Paste that in there. Um, let me think here. Actually, no, don't do that yet. Um, no, we're going to put it down here. So get rid of all this. You could take this though. Um, in after the else, we're gonna say if new closet occupy that value equals false, then we can hit enter, and that end should show up. We're gonna paste that code inside of that little function right there, or that little if statement right there. And then what we are going to write. So what we're doing here is we're checking to make sure that there's no one else in the closet when they're when we're trying to hide, because we don't want to hide when there's someone else in the closet. They already occupy that closet. So what we're doing is we're saying if that value is false meaning no one's in that closet we're we're going to be allowed to hide but then we have to set that value um to true so we're going to say new closet dot occupy dot value goes true so that we'll make sure no one else can go in and then up here when we leave the closet we're going to set that value back to false so that people can go in and out of it so we're going to so then what we're going to say is we're going to say up here new closet dot occupied dot value equals um false and uh if we go ahead and test it out I'll just find a room with a closet. Hold up. Let me see. Let me see if I can find a room with a closet. Right here. Okay. 
all right so if we I want to just select this closet so I could show you guys right here occupied so we go in uh, value gets set to true we leave value gets set back to false true false true false so what this will do is this will prevent it I saw a comment saying this like you know how to make it so that multiple people can't enter closets I forgot that last time I made a video um, on, when I made a video on closets but now as you can see uh, you can no longer oh wait no this just this is a different closet but now you can see you can no longer go into a closet when someone else is in there because that occupied value will be set to true so that is all for today's episode um we are we are literally like a couple subs away from a thousand so if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button please hit that subscribe button it helps me out so incredibly much we are so close to a thousand um so if you guys enjoy this type of content please share it with your friends you know help as many people as you guys can possibly can learn scripting and learn how to make games on roblox um if you guys have any, have any friends that want to learn how to make games on roblox you could tell them about this channel um i am going to be doing that beginner to pro scripting series as i made that community poll that you guys voted on and uh overwhelmingly yes one so definitely that will be coming um if you guys have any comments concerns questions whatever it may be please leave those in the comments below any uh suggestions for a future part i've seen a bunch like make ambush ambush is coming just gotta finish figure first um seek chase the thing about seek is that that is going to come at the end if i do do it i might not do it i might do it i don't know but if i do do it it's coming at the end because of how big that whole thing would be so um that's really all for that and again if you guys enjoyed this video please like helps the channel out greatly subscribe we're very close to a thousand try to be that thousand sub and as always i will see you guys in the next one